Welcome to this video. Um, Jin C actually just got changed, and uh, I'm gonna go over some of these changes. Uh, so here we, if you look at the Forte circuit, this is where basically everything happened. Uh, also, I'm not gonna go over the Changli changes. If, bro, it's 20% damage reduction. Uh, I'd best not see no one in my comment section asking about that shit. But Jin C, uh, basic attacks in, in incarnation are now counted as skill damage. This is a very demonic one. And it's only important for people who pull for her weapon. And, um, hey man, don't let me have any say over what you do. But it's her weapon's like kind of a must pull now. But, um, yeah, max incandescence 40 to 50. That's very good with the combination uh, of the other change I did for incandescence 26.84 to 44.54. This is some of the most brain dead shit I've ever seen. This buff is silly. This is now going to be. A level 3 Jinsei's Forte is going to do the same damage as a old Jinsei's level 10 Forte. So this is just a super silly buff and I'm not going to, if I ran these numbers with her at uh, S6, I would probably throw up because the numbers are going to be way too high. Um, also, this new S3, I'm not sure what's up with this. People keep saying this is new. Uh, when I go look at the old Jinsei, it used to do the exact same thing. Of giving a 50% attack when it's fully stacked up. But, um, yeah, these are all basically the four things that I can show you here. This right here, where her passive of building up incandescence is different. Uh, you're gonna wanna run some off field damage characters. Uh, Marina or Teffy, they're going to shine now. Uh, let's move on. I'll show you, uh, just what we've got going. So, here's everything I'm using. I have to use her signature weapon because all these buffs were made with this weapon in mind. This weapon is a actual must-have. You know, correct my French, but you need to use this weapon We're on Jinsi now. Here's a team you're gonna use on her. Thought I'd show this piece here as well. Uh 57.5% attack. This is including Brina's buff. This is including Brina's set bonus and Tauchi on Moonlit Clouds. Um getting 22% damage bonus here from Varina's turtle and Tauchi's Heron. And the deepen from here and here. Okay, cool. Echoes is giving us some attack, getting some flat, getting 135 crit value. That's included the big one. Spectra damage is 100% from here. And then substats is giving us 20% all type damage. So that's like basically saying like you have 20% basic attack, um, ultimate heavy attack. It's just a lazy way to show you quickly some, uh, some numbers. And um, uh, Jinsi also gives us 8% crit for those little nodes on the side of her level 3. The inherent skill. Gives us 20% Spectro. I'm not showing the other inherent skill. It's complete garbage. And 413 base attack. Mix these together. You get 1001. Then throughout all these attack buffs. Here. We're going to get up to 2517. The best crit rate to crit damage you can get with uh, only 135 crit value is 64.9 of 129.8. Uh, our Spectro is over here. Because of inherent. Plus the all type damage bonus that this weapon gives. The Spectro. We have 42% from everything here and another 48 from just this weapon skill so getting into the basic attacks this is now a 56.3 percent increase on all of these if you're using your signature as far as i'm concerned it's going to be higher even if you don't use your signature right it'll all still be buffed if you're going to use tauchi right if you use tauchi you're still going to get a let's give you a good estimate of maybe 25 percent more damage Okay, maybe a little bit higher. Let's go with uh, 35. You do th about 35% more damage on your basic attacks, your incarnation basic attacks. Uh, their weapons is going to even bring it higher because it gives a skill damage. And it's basically because these are counted as skills. You take a look at this damage bonus here, 2.74, versus this one right here, 0.22. This is because that is the weapon damage bonus included. Deepin is only to uh, Varina here. Well, this Deepin is 153, including Tauchi as well. So now I'm gonna run you through how I got this because I want I want to start explaining how I'm doing these numbers just so I like I don't look a little silly. I had took the attack, which is two five one seven, and I multiplied that by the motion value, the skill. Okay, let's use a more complex one. So the attack times the motion value, and to get this motion value, this isn't the same as these because to speed up my process, I took all these motion values, and I added them together, and I got to one hundred and twenty nine point nine seven. I put that as a decimal over here. These need to be in a bracket first. Then I multiply it by my crit value. Now the way, no, not crit value. My crit multiplier. This is a crit multiplier. To get a crit multiplier, take your crit rate, 
take your crit damage and you put them in a calculator like one plus crit rate times crit damage and then if you're gonna look at in game for crit damage you need to minus one okay cool. the, that needs to go through the enemy's defense a lazy way to do this is by always putting 0. 0.5 it's a really safe way because this number is going to either go up by 0. 0.1 it'll be 5 uh 51 or down by 1 so 0. 0.49 that has to go through our damage bonus right here for your damage bonus you basically add your spectro and you add your also anything that would affect that skill so for my example here it's the basic attacks are counted as skill so i'll take up all skill damage bonus that's going to affect this and for this one this one doesn't have skills because old skills uh, old basics did not count as skill so that's not your input so this is only going to be spectro plus all type damage bonus it's this every enemy in the game has 10 percent resistance to all elements so we're only gonna do 90 percent times 0.9 and then deepens go at the end times our deepen which is going to be verena's uh 1.15 cool get this number we're here same thing e now we need to add that 48 percent to our damage bonus because this is not counted as a skill we also need to add tau tree's 38 percent deepen because that's also a skill get a bigger number and uh, to calculate a crit, instead of multiplying by your crit multiplier, you multiply by your crit damage. So place this number, you're going to put in 2.29.8. No, 2.298. That'll give you how much crit. So next one is all about incandescence. Incandescence is going up 40 to 50. And also, your multiplier is going up 26.84. 44.54 you're gonna see why this is a super silly buff and uh a little bit too strong now but hey who cares you're just wrong, right single player anime game we have at old 100 percent here doing 100 percent more damage not 100 percent more 100 percent damage so everything at uh zero incandescence same is gonna be here nothing got changed at base incandescence zero zero but when we start we get to half incandescence this is where shit gets a little weird because the old one, we're going to hit for 90,000, 956 on a average hit. We're at half incandescence on the new Jinsi. We're going to hit a for 150,000. That is roughly 65.2% more damage than the old one. So they're having a little bit of fun with these buffs. And this buff is going to persist whether you have a signature or not. So, because the main thing that this got buffed by is these numbers here. The multipliers got heavy heavy buffs so this this is a massive buff whether you're using her weapon or you're not and then when we look at full incandescence it is a 81 percent increase it it's almost doing double damage than compared to the old one and then if we look at what i was saying earlier half incandescence on nugency is doing more than maximum incandescence on old Jinxi. And this is uh, a little weird. So I guess they want their character to be strong and respect to that. But uh, who am I to say what's good or not? Right? Come on. And people are asking me about her S3. Like, can you please do a video on the new S3? It uh, doesn't look that different than the old one. Only thing I was able to see on this was uh, it now gives a percentage of incandescence instead of a flat 12. So... There's nothing really to change here. This is really just here, me for fun, showing how much damage this character's gonna do with this. Right? Look at this, uh, 400k, big number, character strong, I think. Then um, to summarize everything, these buffs were mainly made to push the usability of this weapon, considering this weapon got buffed as well, and made it um, more accessible to get that skill damage bonus, and you won't just have it for 2.5 seconds. Uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but um, you are getting Gen C. This weapon is, yeah, it's a must. Really, just need this weapon. It's gonna take your character to a complete another level. You'll be completely fine if you have Gion's weapon. You probably do just good, but if you're using the standard one, you're really like it's gonna be your job not to look online and see other people play Gen C. Otherwise, you might get a little jealous because they're gonna be hitting at least almost like 50% more damage than. If not more. Uh, well, with that being said, I think that's everything I could form you guys on. 
found this informative anyway feel free to leave a like and maybe even sub yeah i'm out